My name's Gordon Chung. I'm an artist. When I was at uh, St Martin's Art School, I really wanted to find a new way of painting. So I made myself, at the time, paint without paint. And so I substituted paint for newspaper as a metaphor of the information space that we found ourselves in. So I have a lot of these newspaper works in which I layer lots of newspaper together and then I'll mould them into forms and it almost turns the newspaper back into wood. And then over the years I allowed paint to come back in but the paint now, the way how I handle it, had become a more unorthodox way of being used. So I'll use different processes like um, pouring paint onto plastic and then tilting it so then it drips a little bit and then let that dry, peel it off and then you can collage them onto the surface. So now by collaging the paint on, you can make it sort of loop out of the surface that you couldn't possibly really do by conventional paintbrush onto a canvas. I use a lot of mixed media in the painting, so that includes sand, things like crackle paste. I'll also spray paint to mask out areas. So the sanded sort of textures that you can see in some of the paintings, they are sprayed from different directions to create a sort of iridescent-like moonscape. The thing that really inspires me to make art on a really basic level is that I really enjoy making it. It's the one thing that I knew that I always wanted to do. <laughs> if you're enjoying the creative process, it's something that anybody and everybody should pursue. It's pretty easy with pencil and paper to express yourself. And I obviously do think it's profoundly important. If I was to give advice to an art student, I'd um, say to nurture the core reasons as to why you are drawn to making art and to keep that alive within yourself. And obviously to be aware of the landscape that you find yourself in. But most of all, uh, to have serious fun making art.